Hello, I'm Charles, and today we're talking about the snap sack. The snap sack was a common bag used by soldiers in Europe to carry their equipment and gear. Made of canvas or leather, it would be thrown over your back and used to carry these things. Let's talk about what an early settler in Virginia could carry in their snap sack. So these first couple items are related to eating and drinking. We see a wooden spoon and a, a small metal eating knife. In this time, the English are not really using forks yet. So spoons and knives will be important to eat with. For drinking, we see a leather jack. This is simply a leather drinking vessel. And these were incredibly common by the English. Once one French source describes the English drinking out of their boots because they were not familiar with the leather drinking vessel. When it comes to food, bread was an incredibly important staple of the English diet this time, both in Europe and early on in Virginia. In European armies, they would often have bakers and uh, millers marching with the army to bake bread daily. But for long voyages, be it on ship or on land, biscuit was an important alternative. We see some of this biscuit is a little old, um, but biscuit is basically flour, salt, and water that's been baked at a low temperature for a very long time. It makes it incredibly hard so it won't spoil. It's a very important thing to carry on your voyage. You see, I also have my wooden bowl as well to eat out of. Now we see something useful for fire making. Here you see my steel striker and my flint. Fire starting is important for cooking, for heat, and if you're a soldier to light your match for the matchlock musket. Next we see my spool of thread along with needles. Clothing in this time is incredibly expensive. A family could spend a huge chunk of their yearly salary on their clothing. And so taking care of it was incredibly important. You don't want to repair or patch your clothing to get the longest use out of the cloth as possible. Now, Virginia is not all work. You know, just because there was rules didn't mean that some colonists broke them. Gambling was explicitly illegal, but we know the early settlers often didn't engage in gambling. And we see I have my very small bone dice with me. The advantage of them being small is pretty obvious. You could hide them as so your officers would not catch you and punish you for gambling. So even though not allowed, I do have my contraband with me. Now let's talk about hygiene for a second. And the, the final items are related to that. The first is a comb. Pretty much every man in this time period is carrying a comb. And you can see that rectangular shape. Very common, uh, useful, you know, for picking out things from your hair and beard. And so pretty much every male is gonna have a comb. We also see some spare clothing. And when it comes to clothing, we see two things. I have a pair of stockings and I have an extra shirt. In the time period, the outer garments are often made of wool and they're not washed a lot. My doublet, think of it as a jacket. I'm gonna just brush off the dirt. But my shirt, my underwear, which is this linen against my body, you're gonna to wanna to change that uh, daily if you can. And so I have an extra shirt as well. And so this is all the gear uh, a settler might bring with them. Now you might ask, well, wait, where's your cooking pot? Where's your hatchet? Where's your leather costal to store drinking water? We see a couple things going on. Remember, in Europe, armies had extensive baggage trains. If you had 20,000 men in an army, 
you would often have 20,000 women, children, and boys marching alongside them. They're going to carry all of that extra gear for you. In Virginia, early on, you don't have a lot of women, but you have these. In this time, ships are incredibly important, and the settlers are using the waterways as highways. Often when the settlers go exploring, they're going to be on ships. And so some of that bigger gear, you don't have to carry it on your back. You just leave it aboard ship. And so thanks uh, for checking out our gear today. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below if you enjoyed this video or have questions for us. And make sure to check out our other social media content on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.